So for a really long time now, I've only had one Mohawk. The Lionel 1998 L3A Mohawk, and it's been the King Mohawk Mountain Type engine of the layout. Listen to this thing. It sounds amazing. That whistle, it's so deep. It's kind of, it's a hooter whistle, which doesn't totally make sense for a mohawk, but it sounds amazing. Listen to that again. However, there's a new mohawk in town. There it is, an MTH New York Central L4B Mohawk. That's awesome. Let's go check this out. Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and today we're going to be checking out this brand new MTH Mohawk I have here. This engine is phenomenal. That is the best way to put it. I love my Lionel L3A Mohawk. It is a very cool engine. Lots of nostalgia uh, uh, in connection to it with the old AC Pullmore motor, that hooter whistle, just classic Lionel from the 90s. Uh, it's really cool, but it also is a 90s model, so it's not as detailed, it doesn't run as smooth, and even the sounds, while very nice, they're not as up-to-date as some newer Legacy models or TMCC models, and of course, MTH's models. And here we have an MTH version of the Mohawk. Not the same kind of Mohawk, but it is a Mohawk. As I said earlier, this is a L3A Mohawk from Lionel very similar to the ones they made in the early 90s. However, this is from the later 90s. It has the smoke deflectors and of course command control installed in it. This, however, is from the last 10 years or so. This is from around 2010 and it came in a freight set. Back behind me are the freight cars and a few other assorted freight cars that I had thrown with them. And we'll be checking out those in a few minutes, but let's just start out with this engine. This is a L4B style Mohawk, very similar to the L3, but the L4 just had updated features of the real thing, such as these roller bearing rods uh, that of course probably made it run a lot better. The tender is slightly different in the coal bunker area. It has these kind of tanks at the back that look really interesting. And overall, it's just a slightly different looking engine, but they are still both Mohawks. They are both mountain type engines. Uh, but I really love this MTH Mohawk. And if you're wondering, it does have smoke deflectors that you can attach to the front. I personally like the look of the smoke deflectors off, uh, but you do have the option of putting smoke deflectors on the front. There is also these separately applied piping detail parts that come packaged in, a in the box of the engine that you add to the bottom of the tender. And they come separately uh, packaged so that you can decide if you want to put them on because they do limit the minimum radius curve for this engine. I put them on as I have wide curves on my layout, but you don't have to put them on. But let's go take a real uh, closer look at this engine because it really is a fantastic model and has a lot of nice detailing on it. So just taking an overhead view of this engine, there's so much separately applied detailing. All of these pipes, there's tons of separately applied uh, pop-off valves, a whistle, the vents on the top of the cab roof move. Uh, there's more piping on the other side as well. 
And then down here, all this valve gear looks amazing. It's this blackened chrome look. These big roller bearing rods look awesome. And overall, this model is just fantastic. MTH always does a nice job with uh, their models, but this is a later Protosound 2 model, and that's why it's so nice. Protosound 3 engines are loved by so many people because they have more detailing than their PS2 counterpart. This is about as close to a Protosound 3 engine you can get without actually being Protosound 3. This is still Protosound 2, it does not have the big uh, wired tether. It has a wireless drawbar, a 10 pin wireless drawbar, unlike the six pins on a Protosound 3 engine. But this is about as close as you can get. And because of that, there's all this really nice detailing. It's such an amazing looking model. Taking a quick look at the tender, this coal load is so big. It goes from all the way up here to almost the back of the tender. These Mohawk tenders are awesome. Back here, you can see those tanks I was talking about before. And then down here is some of that piping. And there's even these little separately applied chains that go from the tender frame to the trucks themselves. That's really cool. MCH does that on a lot of their engines. And this engine even down here has a drop plate, as you can see. That's always a nice uh, feature that MCH models have, is a drop plate, when they can. Uh, the older models uh, that have wired tethers couldn't have them, usually, but uh, this model does, of course, because it has the wireless drawbar. So before we check out the freight cars behind me that go with this engine as part of the set that MCH produced, I want to give a shout out to the store that I bought this set from. I bought this set from Toy Trains and Collectibles in Manassas, Virginia. I made a video on going there a couple weekends ago. Very nice store, amazing people, great deals, and they would love for you to stop by, check out the store, or if you can't, give them a call. Uh, they'll let you know what they have, and they have tons of inventory, tons of nice MTH and Atlas rolling stock, Lionel rolling stock, Woodland Scenics buildings, and of course, tons of nice engines on their amazing wall. Uh, they also acquired a collection recently, so they have tons and tons of engines, rolling stock, and sets uh, like this. So definitely give them a call or stop by uh, their store in Manassas, Virginia. All the information is down in the description below. Uh, but I am so happy that they were, uh, of course, willing to sell this set to me and sold to me for such a great price. Uh, definitely go check them out. And I just wanted to thank Toy Trains and Collectibles in Manassas, Virginia. Uh, for making this possible. So moving on to the freight cars in the set, sitting behind me are the five uh, New York Central reefers. They are the NDT style of reefer and there's five in the set and they're really nice. They have opening doors on the side. These This little latch opens and you can open the side. It's really nice. MTH rolling stock is always uh, really nice. And then, of course, on top, there's these little hatches. And if you pull up on the, uh, the little latch, the hatches will open. And just tons of nice detailing. Of course, MTH's trucks are always amazing. And there's even some detailing here on the under underside of these cars. Now, the set did come with a caboose. However, because Toy Trains and Collectibles got this stuff in a collection. The collection is so big that we were not able to find the caboose yet because there's multiple shipments of this collection. So the shipment they got had the engine and the cars, but not the caboose yet. I'm not really all that worried about the caboose. Uh, they said if they found it, they would uh, uh, send it over to me. And uh, that's totally fine. I have enough cabooses in my collection. Uh, back on the grade there, you can see my Lionel diecast New York Central caboose that I've been running with the set. And that's fine with me. Uh, the one that comes in the set looks very similar. It's a wood sided caboose and it will fit very nice with these. But for now, I just have the engine and the cars and that's all I really need. I'm not worried about the caboose. Uh, together, the engine and these cars look amazing. Uh, it's something that would have ran on the pacemaker route or something like that, along with other Mohawks. You usually see Mohawks or something like this pulling the, uh, the big pacemaker box cars uh, like Lionel's made and Atlas has made. Uh, but instead it has these MDT uh, style reefers, which I'm actually uh, really happy with. I've been enjoying 
uh, reefers. I've bought some PFE reefers yet for a uh, engine that it's going to be shown on the channel soon. Stay tuned for that. And I also just enjoy uh, detailed uh, pieces of rolling stock. And these kind of cars have those hatches on top and uh, the nice doors on the side. So I'm very happy with them. And I'm overall happy with this set. This Mohawk is amazing. And at the beginning of the video, you heard the sounds. This has a very unique sound set. So enough of me talking. Let's go check out this set running around. And of course, listen to the sound set in this engine because it is phenomenal. So I got my MTH remote here. So let's start it up. Here's the normal whistle. That's a very unique whistle. I've never heard that whistle on an MTH engine. Uh, that's, that's really cool to see. Here's the quillable whistle, since this is a, is a later ProtoSound 2 engine. sounds a lot more powerful than the normal whistle. I've been using the quillable whistle on this engine more than the normal one. It's really cool. And then listen to the grade crossing whistle. It is awesome. It's even more high pitched. That's just awesome. Here's the bell. So now that we've listened to the, the sounds, let's run it around for a little.
So as you can see, this is an amazing model. MTH did a really good job with this L4B Mohawk and the freight cars. The, these reefers look really good behind it. I, of course, threw in some other cars, uh, but those five reefer, reefers are really nice. And overall, it's just an amazing set. It's really nice when MTH does these specialty style sets because it's such a great deal. For, extra, for an extra like $100, $150, you get freight cars or passenger cars and you also get the engine so it's well worth the extra money just to get a set of cars to go with the engine that'll also match it uh, but overall i am very pleased with this set and of course this engine uh, i really like that whistle and of course all this detailing is just fantastic and i can't thank toy trains and collectibles enough for giving me the opportunity to purchase this very nice uh, set at a really good price and they have more sets and engines and inventory at their store so definitely go check them out or give them a call to see what they have in stock uh, but as always like subscribe and click the bell for notifications comment below and tell others about the channel i'm sid and i'll see you next time guys <laughs>